I'm going to be showing you me bleaching that band that I had in my hair and also applying the toner. It turned out extremely well. This is exactly what I wanted from the very beginning. It has kind of like a silvery shadow root and then the ends are just like that really pretty white color and I absolutely love it. I did lose a lot of hair and I damaged the crap out of my hair doing this, but it's okay. I cut a little bit off and I'm going to cut even more off in the future. So stay tuned for that hair cutting video. If you like this white hair and you want to see what I used to get it, then don't click out of this video. Hey guys, so this is the current state of my hair. So right now I have coconut oil in my hair. I normally don't do this before I bleach it, but because I only bleached it a week ago, I decided to put coconut oil in it just to try and keep it as healthy as possible. It's been about a week since I bleached it last and I have not done anything to it. I have not shampooed it. I have not retoned it. I have not done anything to it. I've just let it be how it is and I've let my natural oils accumulate. So let's dissect this hair so I can show you what I'm trying to fix today. So if you can see, when I pull this bad B apart, in through here to right here is kind of a goldeny, brassy color. And this is from where I was previously red. So, and under here too is bad right through here. So today we're gonna go back in and bleach that band. It's also bad over here. It's the same band that I have right here all over my head. So we're gonna go ahead and go back in and re-bleach that today. So what I have today to bleach my hair is Schwarzkopf, Blonde Bee, Bond Enforcing Lightener. And then I also have their 20 volume developer that goes with the bleach. And I've read online that this has like Olaplex or something similar to it already in the bleach. So that's one of the major reasons why I wanted to get it and it's nine levels of lift. So it's gonna lift this gold right out of my hair. Bye beach. And later when I'm toning, I'm going to be using Kenra 10SM and 8SM. Let's get this bleach mixed. Hey. So I just looked and the ratio for this is one to one and a half or one to two and a half. So I'm probably gonna do one to two and a half, so that way it's a little bit more creamy and not so thick. Okay, so I actually wound up doing two scoops of the lightener and three scoops of the 20 volume developer, and the consistency is actually really nice. It's not too thick. Last time when I bleached my hair, I started in the front two sections and ended up in the back two sections. So today I'm gonna start in the back and then work my way to the front. And I'm not going to show you a lot of the bleaching process just because I am including the toning process in this video. So if I included the bleaching and the toning, this would be one long ass video and I'm not trying to have that. So let's get into the video. Yeah. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left Okay guys, I got it applied all through my mid shaft and I drug it down to my ends a little bit. Some of the pieces on my ends were still a little bit gold so I brought the lightener down to my ends. I'm gonna leave this on for 20 to 30 minutes just depending on how it's gonna lift and I will come back to you once I get this washed out. Hey guys. I'm back and my hair is fried. So as you guys can see, this is all the hair that fell out of my head and it feels like mush. It's disgusting. So now that my hair is fried and thoroughly mushy, we're going to continue to the toning portion of this video. Okay. So what I got here is Kenra 8SM and 10SM, level eight silver metallic, level 10 silver metallic. I'm thinking about doing a shadow root with the 8SM and then doing the 10SM on my ends. And I'm using the nine volume developer that goes with it. The storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. Sun rays and on and on we'll go through the 
I'm going to let it sit for 20 to 25 minutes and then I will rinse it out and I will come back to you once it's blow dried and styled and I have makeup on. As I was applying that, more and more hair just kept falling out in my hands. <laughs> but it's fine, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. It's just hair, so I'm not worried about it. Okay, see you guys in about 35 minutes. Okay guys, I'm back and I put on some makeup and I curled my hair. I also gave myself a little trim. I took probably like this much off of the bottom of my hair just because I had so much hair falling out while the toner was on. Also, I only left the toner on like 12 minutes because while the toner was on, anytime I would touch my hair, my hair was literally just coming out in handfuls. So I decided that I needed to rinse it out early instead of keeping it on my hair. It turned out really, really nicely. I love how the roots have a little bit more of like a gray silver tone. And then my ends are like that really pretty white color. I think it turned out great. I wish I could have left the toner on for longer to make it even more of a white color or like a white silver color, but I couldn't because my hair was just falling out in handfuls. That is it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All you mofos keep watching my videos, but you're not hitting the subscribe button, and I need them subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on social media at aka Aislinn in the description down below. I love you guys so much, and until next time, guys, stay weird. And I